Hey guys, today I'm making some buildings. I started by shaping the clay into a rectangle and forming some balconies. As always, I'm using Super Sculpey. I took a little wooden stick and made a bunch of windows. I also added a bit more detail to the balconies, but that ends up being smushed when I started adding some damage to the buildings and also adding texture with some foil. I created some other, more simple buildings and also added thin wire to act as broken building armature. The base square is also made out of polymer clay and detailed a bit with foil. For the monster, I just rolled out some clay onto a thick wire and smoothed it out. Added some eyeballs and a bit of brow definition. I then rolled out some snakes to add to its head. I originally wanted to use wire but realized I don't need to since it will be put in resin and won't be at risk of breaking. I covered the base and buildings in a few layers of grey. And also added these small bits of clay debris to the base. Of course a layer of dark wash for easy weathering. And also a bit of highlights. Don't mind my hand. I like using it as a quick extra paint holder. The Guardian got painted white. Its hair tentacles got a few layers of different pink. For some reason, I really like painting gradients. I also ended up painting the tail the same way too. The eyes got painted in the leftover dark pink. I just got some snow texture paste and wanted to try it out. I mixed it with some green paint and covered all the buildings and base. You could just use paint, but this gives the moss a more realistic 3D look. I used some super glue to attach the buildings to the base and added some more green stuff. I then super glued the base to an acrylic sheet and made a little box. Sadly, I forgot I wanted to glaze everything so tried to awkwardly do it with the acrylic in the way. I wanted to glaze it because I'm using a new resin and it gets super hot and eats away at the paint. I was hoping this would help, but sadly it didn't. The paint got a bit fuzzy and the resin got discolored too. 
I used some quick seal to seal the acrylic sheets and was incredibly impressed by how well it worked. I think I'll always use something like this in the future too. There wasn't even a single drop of resin that got out. I attached the Guardian with some UV resin. Now it was finally time to pour the resin. It looked great at first, but when I checked on it later, it had created this massive bubble on the side. I freed it from the acrylic sheets and cut away the sharp edges. I tried to fill up the big hole at least a little bit with UV resin. It still looks pretty bad, but at least it looks a little bit better than before. I added a layer of UV resin on top as well. And then some Mod Podge to make it a bit more wavy. And that's it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye!